The family of a toddler who went missing in Germany more than 30 years ago have appealed to the Prime Minister to help them. Catrice Lee disappeared on a shopping trip when she was just two years old, when her father was serving in Paderborn. Now her mother hopes that renewed attention to the case will help them find out what happened to their daughter. Ali Gibson has the story. Catrice Lee was a happy toddler living in Schloss Neuhaus in Paderborn when she went missing. But over 30 years later, the mystery of what happened to her remains. On the 28th of November 1981, Catrice Lee was taken shopping in this building behind me, which used to house the former Nafi. It was her second birthday and her mother Sharon and her aunt Wendy were buying party food. Mrs Lee left her daughter for a second with her sister at the checkout as she had forgotten to buy some crisps, but when she returned, her daughter was gone. Her sister said the toddler had chased after her mother down the aisle, but there was no sign of her. Both the military and German police at the time believed that Catrice Lee may have fallen into the nearby river, but her family insists she must have been abducted. A wide search for Catrice at the time failed to find any answers. I still cannot understand to this day how my daughter managed to push her way through a crowded nappy, bearing in mind she was two that morning to walk down a ramp on her own, past the lady selling raffle tickets that never saw her. What would have been then if she'd reached down the ramp on her own, across a, car a crowded car park, through a small hedge, to a river. And if you follow the German police line, my daughter disappeared as of an accident and not a crime. She fell into the river, according to the German police authorities. That's their theory. The Lee family have spent the last 30 years looking for their daughter, and it's changed their lives. On the 28th of November 1981, my world as I knew it stopped. Not just my world, obviously Natasha's world, she was only seven, my husband's, and all of our families. Um, life has never been the same and can never be the same. Um, you keep going because at the end of the day I had another child. And because I want to find out what happened to my daughter. I want justice for my daughter. A generated image of what Catrice could look like now has been created by the charity Missing People, and the Prime Minister has now agreed to look into the case after pressure from the family's MP. The Royal Military Police from day one didn't necessarily act um, in a way that we would have liked. You know, that, that there were very, very um, uh, major um, problems with the, with the way they where they conducted the inquiry. People like the, um, the, the the ladies that worked on the till in the shop where Catrice went missing weren't questioned for weeks and weeks after after she went missing. Um, even the border guards were not told for 48 hours. You know, there were there were there were various failures in the way that this um, was was handled and conducted. And I think that the family deserve um, deserve to to hear the truth. You know, just for their own peace of mind. The family have also pressed the Royal Military Police for the files on their daughter's disappearance, but the MOD said these cannot be released because the investigation is ongoing. In a statement, the senior investigating officer for the case said they were working with the German authorities to re-examine the circumstances of Catrice's disappearance. Major Clive Robbins told British Forces News, This truly is a tragic case and one that the Lee family have had to live with for over 30 years. It is my hope and ultimate aim that by applying modern investigative techniques, we can shed some light on what happened to Catrice and therefore bring closure for Richie, Sharon and Natasha. It's hoped that with the renewed attention on Catrice's story, someone out there will be able to tell the Lee family what happened to their daughter all those years ago. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Schloss Neuhaus. And if you have any information, then please contact the Op Butte Inquiry team on the numbers on the screen now. Or you can email the team at operationbutte at rmp.mod.uk. You can also find the numbers on our website.